Hey, Bay, where's Darlene? Well, they said she couldn't be in the commercial dress like death. <laughs> she go home? Not yet. <laughs> Shut up. My darling, you look... Shut up. Oh, come on, it's not so. Shut up. Is anybody up? I need to go home. I... Would you just look at this mess? I, I don't know how many times I've said it to myself. It's just like gutting a fish. I swear I was way better the last time. <laughs> the last time? Yeah, you know, with Becky's dad, he was blonde too. Hey, I know. You've got a garbage disposal over your house, don't you? Oh, my God. Please, please. I, I need to go home. Oh, no, you can't go. You'll tell. No. I won't. I promise. I won't tell. Please, let me go. <laughs> Liver. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> that was a horrible, horrible, horrible thing to do. <laughs> You know, hon, every time we do this, people get so ticked off. Yeah, when will we learn? <laughs> I'd be glad to. Uh, this is according to Cheryl Brewer, whose older sister not only goes to Lanford High, but is also on the student council and had a ringside seat for the event of the century. Get to the point, Edna. <laughs> okay, this is great. Okay, here goes. Okay, here goes. Hotshot Becky standing up to give her speech in front of all her snotty high school friends. Georgina Wellen, Linda Ferriman, Diane the Schnoz Varelli, <laughs> and Mr. Perfect, Jimmy Mel Trigger. There she is all dressed up trying to look so cool with her hair perfect that she spent 45 minutes on in the bathroom. Really? Okay. Well, just as she completes the line, I'd like to thank the student council for allowing me to speak my mind. It happened. What happened? Becky cut the cheese. <laughs> to breathe. You can breathe whenever you feel like it. So basically you just do this? <laughs> no, 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 no. You kind of... <laughs> then you open your mouth a little bit. You open your mouth? <laughs> For what? Well, you can slip in the tongue. Listen, I dropped my car keys down your toilet, so you're gonna have to give me a ride home. Oh, oh for God's sake, people rob liquor stores all the time! I slept with Arnie!
Darlene. Hi, Mommy. Uh, you better go. Come on. Are you out of your mind? So how was your date? Well, he's a great kisser. But it's not like you would know the difference. Did you get felt up? <laughs> no! <laughs> I did. Well, well, well. <laughs> My, 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 my. What are you doing here? You know, I'll bet when you imagine us in this situation, you always picture yourself on the other side of those bars. Where's your mom? Organizing the candlelight vigil. Come on, Darlene, I don't have time for this. Oh, I think you do. She took Aunt Jackie. I guess I should prepare you for all the things that have changed since you've been in the big house. Mom says we have a new daddy now. Oh, hi, Jackie. We thought you, you went home. Look at me. I got nothing. No boyfriend, no meaningful job, no husband, no family. It's just me. It's, it's just me and my ganja. <laughs> Did you hear that? Sounded like somebody was coming through the front door. Birds, birds, birds! Don't you hate that way you're stoned? I don't like it any time. <laughs> now, don't tell me you didn't hear that. Is this the sink? Am I shrinking? <laughs>